look at here in the bourbon barrels, we're going to open these up and you can see they're charred on the inside, which is really a filtering agent. The first thing we're going to look at is our Connecticut shade wrappers. And if you look, you'll notice that they're darker. They have that dark honey butterscotch color, which I like. And guess what? No sharp edges, no bitterness. And what happens is this wrapper becomes extremely creamy. And talking to my father one time, he said, you know, this wrapper, if you age it well, it has a creamy, almost spicy, peppery flavor when it's well fermented. It's really the champagne of wrappers. Hence how we came out with the word champagne. These are our sun-grown wrappers. And if you look at these colors, you'll see that they have these beautiful reddish brown cask. I'm gonna put this top over here so you guys can see it a little easier. And if you look, look how beautiful the colorization is. These wrappers have caramelized. They smell wonderful, I wish you could be here. But look at the even cask of colors. No burning, no dark colors, just dark reddish brown colors. Anyone you grab here is just absolutely beautiful. So my father was right, the bourbon process really worked well. If you look, I'm just gonna show you the different colorization between the Connecticut and the Sun Grown and the Maduro. And the reason we use all three wrappers on whatever blend we're going to use is because in my opinion, it's the filet mignon, the ribeye, and the New York strip of wrappers with flavor. So if you love a particular Perdomo cigar and you smoke it, you can change and get different flavors of the wrappers. If you look at these Maduro wrappers, they look like dark chocolate. And those are some of the flavors you pick up because of all the starches and sugars beating up to the top. Naturally done. Makes a huge difference in the flavor. And if you see the barrels, you can see basically the three wrappers and how they differentiate themselves from each other like this. So what the Connecticut wrapper is gonna do is gonna give you a nice creamy with a slight spicy finish. The sun-grown wrappers are gonna give you more of an earthy, spicy finish. And then the Maduro wrappers are gonna give you that sweet finish that we all like. And it's, it's gonna give you hints of dark chocolate and coffee. I don't know of anybody that does it, but I will tell you one thing, it's worth the effort, it's worth the time, and it's worth the flavor. Basically, this department here hand strips all our binders and wrappers. And what I wanted to show you how important barrel aging was for the wrappers that we use on our cigars. So for example, this particular wrapper right here has been completely fermented. These wrappers here are actually 61 months old. But when we deposit these bourbon barrels, depending on what type of wrapper it would be, is how long we're gonna keep them here. So normally they're deposited here anywhere between six months up to 14 months. And just to show you the difference, if you look here, this is a five-year-old wrapper that's not barrel aged. And this is the same wrapper that's been in a barrel for 11 months. If you can look, look how rich and caramelized the color is. I could say the same thing for the Connecticut shade right here too. If you look, it's not that bright yellow yolky color, it's that honey butterscotch color. And if you look at the Maduro wrappers here, you can see how nice, rich, and caramelized they are where they have that dark chocolate color. And what we do is we color tone them. So if you look, you can see this Perdomo Habano bourbon barrel aged, and you can see the wrapper matches the color. If you look at the Connecticut shade Perdomo Habano, you can see that the wrapper matches that color. And then you can see the barrel aging, how this color matches. And what's important when you look at these three cigars, when we're going to color match these cigars, we want these wrappers to be caramelized. So this department actually not only hand strips all the wrappers, we don't do these by machines, because we say that we totally make every cigar by hand, so everything is done completely by hand, and the wrappers are hand selected by size, width, and texture. And then what we do is we color code them because we want a consistent color of the wrappers so they're completely uniform. These wrappers, after they're barrel aged, they're gonna be bursting with their flavors once the cigar maker makes these cigars.